Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Bernie here and in this video, I will show you what my export settings are using Final Cut Pro. So, here we go right now. Alright, so this was the video that I published a week ago and we'll use this video as an example just to show you how exactly I export my videos to be ready for publishing to YouTube. So in this project and by looking at the settings, this is a UHD 4K video which is 3840 wide and 2160 tall and I chose ProRes 422HQ as my main video codec. HQ meaning high quality and by far huh, the best codec for YouTube and wedding videos in my experience. It is not too heavy on the Mac when editing and the quality is great as well. The files are also manageable. The uh, final edited videos are clean and most importantly, social media apps and devices friendly since I use MP4. So now going back to this timeline and after editing and finalizing your video, it's now time to export. Let me show you first the other export settings that I have right here and explain to you when to use them. So first is mastering. This will render the video as Apple ProRes 422 HQ which has a huge file and which was selected earlier. This one I don't use at all since the files are too big and will take longer to render. I will only use this if let's say I'm archiving the final video. But for YouTube and for weddings, this is not actually necessary in my opinion, huh? And here for the Apple devices, as you can see right here, this is .m4v and I seldom choose this at all, only if I am going to view it on my iPhone or my Mac. Now moving on with computer and this one is the MP4. This is what I am going to use. Next is this .mov. It's basically QuickTime and a wrapper of the H.264 video codec. And before, I always choose this but not anymore since not all computers are compatible with it. Although if you're a Mac user, then you won't have a problem since it was developed by Apple in the first place. And last but not the least, it says here broadcast and this is the MXF. You only choose this one if let's say you have another editor that will work on your project or maybe you will send this for a broadcast since this one has all of the information called metadata which includes how you edit the footage, maybe framing as well and some other stuff inside the MXF file. And now let's go to computer which I will be showing you right now how to exactly export the project and this is what I use. So right now select computer right as format and video codec it says here H.264 better quality and uh, 3840 by 2160 resolution and uh, don't worry about include chapter markers and then press next. This will actually uh, lead you to a page where you can name whatever you want for the particular project. In this case since I already have it I'm just going to replace the file. So save and it will prompt you if you wanted to replace the file. So confirm and done. And as you can see, if I click right here, you will see the progress bar. And right now I'm going to make it fast since this will take a little longer depending on your Mac. And also while waiting and if you want more control regarding the numbers for your export settings, you can always use compressor if you have one. But for me, I want it easy and that is why I only use the default settings of Final Final Cut Pro. Alright, so there you go, another Final Cut Pro video tutorial. If you have topics in mind or even questions regarding Final Cut Pro, then please let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't you forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And while you're at it, click that bell notification icon to be notified with more awesome videos. This is Bernie. See you in the next video. Goodbye for now.